Hey, what's up fellow Asus computer owners? My name is Victor Oguari from Nairobi, Kenya. I am finally done with the solution to the actual setup utility. Uh, it's a bit long, so sit back and relax. Now it is important to realize that this solution might cost you all the data that was in your computer. I am currently working on videos that will save part if not all of your data. So why don't you hit the subscribe button and the bell right beside it to be notified when these tutorials are ready. So let's begin. Things you will need smiley face. Number 1. A flash disk. I suggest 8 GB or higher. Number 2. A different computer from yours since yours went blue. Number 3. Yup, it will cost you $10 to fix your computer. And trust me it is totally worth it because the computer I used to upload this video is the same ASUS that was destroyed and I fixed it this way. Step 1 is carried out on a different computer. So the first step is the purchase of the download tool, which is can be done on this website, solveithub.com. So this is the website where I bought the download tool. So click on our products. It will take you to this boot files tool. It goes for $10 as you can see. If you scroll down below the boot files purchase thingy, you'll see some testimonials over there. These testimonials are actually the things that convinced me to make the risk and buy these files that helped my computer by the way. So you can read through them to clear out any skepticism and once you're satisfied you can go back and make the purchase. So I'm going to scroll back up uh, to the place where there's a, the purchase button. Now click on buy now and wait for it to load and it will bring you this dialog box just click on buy now again and then it should load into this PayPal this PayPal dialog box and don't worry if you don't have a PayPal you can just key in your email inside this box like like that this is my email and you click the green button and wait there's a lot of waiting as I promised in my other videos so it will bring you to this page of PayPal if you do not have an account you can create one like that which will lead you to a a PayPal website like that so it will show you your country and the cards the Visa MasterCard this place is where you key in the card number that you're going to use to make the payment amongst other things these are details that you can find on the card and up here is the price of the files that you're going to buy so just fill in all these details That's make sure that PayPal actually gets your details so that you can make the payment but like I had mentioned earlier I already purchased my tool so I'm just going to go to its file location mine goes to the downloads after you purchased yours will go to wherever it normally goes where your downloads go and it looks like this its icon so double click on it to run it it normally installs like any other application and this blue screen written windows will appear and you better be comfortable enough because like I had mentioned it will take some time this is the next screen getting a few things ready just wait on it then it will bring you to this license terms of Microsoft nobody ever reads them so just accept them back to getting a few
files you should end up with this number of files in your flash disk they should be App show setup utility, scroll to the right to security option, then the lowest option is the secure boot menu. Click on it, then the secure boot control should be disabled. If yours is enabled, disable it. Then go ahead and press escape for back. Then after that, go to the boot menu then look for the launch CSM on this menu. There it is. It shouldn't be disabled. It should be enabled for this process. So I'm going to enable mine like that. Then uh, no other changes. Just go to the save and exit. Start boot media which is our flash disk and press any key now with the boot media plugged in that is with my flash disk I am going to switch off this computer by holding down the power button like that now the computer has gone off now I'm going to give it time then I'm going to restart it now this is another step that calls for your patience. You will have to wait a little bit for this process to proceed as per the video. Then there shall appear a chain of circles going in cycles. Now this is normally a very good sign. A sign of hope to be precise. Now after this it will bring you to a blue screen like this one. Written Windows install now. And that is exactly what we are doing in this video. We are installing Windows. So just click on install now. And then the setup will begin. This might take some time depending on your computer. Then it will give you options of Windows. There are three options. Home, Pro and Enterprise. I think many people have Pro. So I will just go ahead and choose Home. Then click on Next. Then Relax. Just wait some moments. Windows license terms. Nobody ever reads them, just accept them. This is just collecting information. Windows is collecting information like you accepting its terms and conditions. Now, after you have accepted, just press next. And then custom install. Custom install. After you've custom installed, it will bring you to this screen. Now ladies and gentlemen, this is the screen that determines if you're going to lose all your data or you're going to save a sum or you're going to have all your data at the end of this process. Now if you have one option, you're going to lose everything. There are cases in this step where people have multiple options. They are the lucky ones. If you belong to this group, there should be a link appearing on the screen. Click on it, that is your tutorial. If the link is unavailable, just check for it in the description. For the rest of us who have only one option, the unlucky group, we will just have to proceed with this tutorial. I am sorry, but you have to format this disk. And by formatting, means you lose everything. Everything that you have ever owned in your computer, valuable or not, you have to lose it. Now click on next. And uh, there. The installation will begin. It will start ticking this thing. It will give them green ticks. All of them. This might take some time so I will pause the video and come back when it is done. That took a while but we are here. This is the next screen. Windows need to restart to continue. Now your computer may restart several before this process ends. 
it will go off and on and off and on a couple of times. So there, it has gone off and Asus is now searching for incredible. Expect a chain of circles going in circles. There. Now, like I said, this is a sign of hope. Now, your computer is getting devices ready. This will also take some time and require a lot of patience. But once you are here, you are assured that your computer is safe. Oh, and by the way, after this process, just give your computer time to rest. It has been sick for long, so it won't be functioning well for some time. But, like after three hours, your computer will be up and running. Very healthy. Now, this screen normally, it doesn't appear, but at times it may appear. So, if it appears, just let it be. It will load up some percentages up to 100. Then your computer will restart and give you some many many options like this one. A lot of things to read. Now I don't want to customize my windows so I will, I will just use the factory settings. And just a moment. It will ask me for my computer name the one that you see before you sign in to your computer and passwords so I've filled them Chief Oguari my passwords then just another moment now I think this is the last step setting up Cortana of course I need Cortana so I'm going to use Cortana and just another moment Hi, let's begin. No, we are happy you are here. But let's begin. We are happy you are here. Um, getting things ready. Yeah, once you see these things, just know you're on the right path. And let's start, not let's begin. After this, I think your computer is ready. So yeah, like you see, you have nothing. Even your wallpaper is gone. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please leave a thumbs up. And also don't forget to comment with stuff you didn't understand and questions. Don't forget to subscribe. 